Hi folks, Nathaniel here at Chicago Music Exchange and I'm joined by Sam from Cali Massey. How's it going, mate? Great, good to see you. Not a bad microphone, this is it? It's nice. Say that again. Hello? Yeah. Yep. So, I'm going to give you five minutes to go around the shop and choose any three pieces of equipment that you like. Okay, five minutes. However, first we're going to do a couple of quick fire questions. Is that alright? Yes. <laughs> what do you prefer, touring or recording? To oh, touring. I think it's a torrent. Recording. Torrenting music or recording music? <laughs> you <funny>. bastard. <laughs> <laughs> the accent strikes again. Uh, Jawbox or Jawbreaker? Jawbreaker. Kelly Massey, name of a Star Wars villain or Game of Thrones character? Ah, uh, Star Wars villain. Wrong answer. What? I don't like Star Wars. Okay, all right. Well, what, you're born May the 4th, I'm born yes, May the 4th. Yes, we're both, we're both born May the 4th, by the way. That's true. Will you please grow your hair out super long again? No, super long. I'll try. Super. Um, yeah, like super. Past, past my belly button. Hey, steady. So gotta show you. Family, belly family belly. show here, man. <laughs> right, best pizza in Chicago is? Pizza, uh, Poly G's. I would have said Jets, but Poly G's will do. This is my, I get to answer the questions. This is right. for you. Okay, five minutes. It's gonna be a bloodbath. When I say go, okay? Three, two, one, toe. Good, I'm a good listener. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three, two, one, go, 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 oh! <laughs> you got me. Ah, <sighs> oh, this place is too big for five minutes. Ah, this is so dope. Oh, no, I'm still recovering, mate. You hit the right one. That's what I wanted, the one on the right. Slow you down. Just so you know, I'm gonna go come up to two minutes. Okay, all right, I gotta go. If I may, what do you know about Space Cowboy? Some people call me a Space Cowboy. Yeah. What do I do from here? A hat, maybe a shirt? Right. I think I'm good. I think I've got it. I think this guitar, this preamp. Confirmed? And that, and that head. I don't have a cab, but I'm gonna borrow one from you. Confirmed? Confirmed. 339. Not bad. You know what, that's a new world record. Sweet. You should be proud of that. All right, so we made it down to the video room, uh, and obviously you've picked out three great things. Let's start off with the most obvious, the guitar. Why did you choose that? Uh, I'll be honest, I picked it because it looks really cool. Um, it does look yeah. very cool. I, uh, I don't have anything like this. I yeah. play a Jazzmaster. I have a bunch of Fenders. I don't have any Gibson. Yeah. I know I said I didn't want a Gibson, but then I yeah. saw this, and yeah. I was like, I don't have anything with P90s. It's really cool. Uh, I just grab. I mean, you got five minutes. Pick stuff that looks cool, and you know will probably be good. <laughs> I mean, are you a big fan of P90s? Um, I don't have anything in P90s. I, yeah. So I'm afraid of humbuckers. Honestly, they're terrifying. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, mostly single coil guy. So it's, yeah. uh, it seems like a different ball. Well, it's interesting because I mean, I, I'm on the look for an SG myself, and I would love to get one at some point. The. Uh, Fingerboard is this nice dark rosewood, which I really like a rosewood. It's got some beautiful red in there. Um, so yeah, just looks really cool, yeah. honestly. And it so far sounds pretty good. Yeah, too. I mean, it feels all right as well. Yeah, yeah. it feels good. I be, Can I be honest? I've had some tuning issues so far. Ooh. Um, so, you know, we can just slap it around, see if we can figure that out. <laughs> we'll, we'll work, we'll work. Yeah. It sounds really good to me. Yeah. Um, Neck is, yeah, it's a beefy neck. I mean, clean it up. It would probably be smart to yeah. hear them like. Now, do you typically up. use uh, the bridge, middle neck, or just. I'm all over the all place, over, yeah. honestly. Yeah, yeah I, I switch a lot. Um, I love the bridge for like more driving parts, and then yeah. I'll switch to the neck or the middle for a more finger picked. Yeah, it sounds great though. I mean, really I really clear. like the the, uh, the neck pickup. Mm -hmm. Now we are plugged into the Reeves Space Cowboy. Uh, why is it called a Space Cowboy? I, I don't, don't know. know. You Probably don't know. It's got a reverb on it. Is um, it something to do with Jamiro Quiet? I doubt it. <laughs> I highly doubt. It. But it does have reverb on it. Yeah. That's all that matters, right? Uh, yeah. Well, I went for a little <laughs> bit of utility there. I was just like, you know, I don't have a reverb in my three yeah. items, but I have it here if I want. Yeah. Now, why did this one stand out amongst the others? It looks like a high watt. Um, I, I imagine it probably is trying to be a high watt. I don't know anything. Yeah. You don't know anything about Reeves. I don't know anything about Reeves. But it looks cool. Yeah. And this looks cool. Yeah. Uh, 
But yeah, I, tr combo. I trust the aesthetic. Yeah. Uh, and it had a master volume. Yeah. Um, which is nice. It's only 50 watt amp, which is good, so it's kind of light. Mm. And it's got the master volume, which means I can get some breakup. I don't like yeah. super, super clean, so I think yeah. between the P90s and getting like digging into some like edge of breakup territory, yeah, this yeah. is like a really good platform to put pedals in front of. Yeah. And uh, it looks nice on top of the orange uh, that you let me borrow. And it's got this nice, so the reverb has a send. So you can crank up the reverb and then like a mix control, which is nice. It's not okay. just like a one knob verb. Yeah. Um, is it possible to hear that? Yeah, you want to hear it? Yeah, let's have okay, a little bit. So blast. we'll see how it sounds. Max, max send, max minimum that mix here. And that breakup is coming from the amp. Yep, yep, that's all the amp. Reverb sounds great to yeah, me. Yeah, reverb's good. Yeah. Nice. And like I said, just that little bit of breakup, not too much. I like that. Not too yeah. clean. I like it. Now you mentioned pedals, and we've got here the Automaton in mm -hmm. front of us, which is it's a great looking pedal. Yeah. I'll be honest, I'm not too familiar with it in terms of you know I haven't really experimented with it. I have seen it, of course. You know, it's quite a famous looking pedal. Have mm -hmm. you had much? Uh, kind of playing around with one of these before? Mm -mm. I've no. only seen people play them. I saw yeah. some people playing around with them at NAMM, mm. and I knew that it was probably unobtainium for me, which is it's good that I'm doing this yeah. with it, you know? Chase Bliss never steers you off. They, they always make great stuff. Yeah. And uh, I know that uh, if I ended up hating this and hating this, and if I was stuck with them, this could probably fix a lot of the, you know, if Sold it's up. just like not the right sound for yeah. me, and it's got a nice, it's got some fuzz, it's got all sorts of options for open or gated fuzz, yeah. it's got silicone, germanium, like options for all sorts of stuff. So I feel like uh, between these three, I can get a lot of cool sounds, yeah. especially in, in the terms of rock and roll, which was kind of my, uh, my aim. Yeah. Now you mentioned some of the fuzz kind of settings. Should we have a little just experiment with some yeah. of them? See, see what we can get. Again, we're kind of novices with this pedal, aren't we? So yeah. it'd, be, it'd be interesting to see how what we can kind of get yeah, out of it. Sounds good. I, I think. mean, some great sounds there to me. Yeah. I mean, a lot of obviously tweaking and stuff that you can do. But I mean, there's a lot of capability with just the fuzz alone mm -hmm. on that. I kind of just maxed it out, yeah. honestly. But that sounded I, cool. I, I, I like the sound of that. Yeah, you know? yeah. Uh, I mean, what else have we got here? Is there just like a, a regular kind of overdrive on it? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Still sounds good. Though. Now, would you, is this, would you feel comfortable kind of going on, going on stage or out, out on the road with this kind of rig? So yeah. Far? yeah, yeah, I think so. I think if I had time to tinker with things yeah. and really fine tune it, um, I could, I could definitely play shows with this. Yeah. Um, I'm a firm believer that uh, anybody can pick up an instrument and kind of make it sound like them. Yeah. You know, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. no matter what it is, you'll find a way to kind of have your personality yeah. shine through. So, which is exciting when you pick up stuff that you're not familiar with because you find a way to voice it yeah, and, yeah. and discover new parts of your yeah. own like uh, talent. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think you uh, chose out three incredible uh, items. I'm really impressed with the uh, with the pedal. To Me be too. Honest, because I've seen it and I've never had the chance to actually hear it or mess around with it. Yeah. And you've saved me a lot of bother, really. You've sold me on that. Yeah. I like it. I think I'd pick some good now, stuff. So you normally play a jazz master. Yeah. Right? Now, the feel of this, the feel of an SG, is it a bit alien, so to speak, or is it, I can't imagine it's too much of a... No, I mean, it's a guitar. Yeah, it's <laughs> At the end of the day, yeah, like, yeah. SG, it's just, uh, SG shape is just supposed to be a simple, simple thing. It's really just a, you know, True. slab of wood, so. Yeah. Um, it's one, yeah, one of my favorite uh, guitar shapes. Yeah, I've got to say, I've always, always, I kind of grew up playing an Epiphone SG and a Squire Strat, mm -hmm. you know, uh, but I always leaned towards the SG. And like I said, I'd love to get uh, myself one at some point. Yeah, you know, we got to have you on the show. You would love it. Do it. 